Hello everyone, this is Tantan. Today I'm going to talk about the history train chart. This chart is used for displaying the train curve from the data record. Obviously, the data source of this function is from the data logging. So after we set up this data record configuration, then we can directly go for the object part. The object for this chart is in this chart list, so we can click it to the screen and compare its settings. So firstly, we need to select the channel. Select the channel we need to be simple. So I can pick any channel from this group. Then we can change the style here. So I just change the background color. So we can see, we can preview the change in this small, small view. Then we can set the range. Because in this case, record value will not exist over 100. So we can set 100 here, otherwise it will be too small to see. The last part is about the, about the star address. This star address is used for query time of this object. So we can, click, we can use any address it didn't, as long as it didn't occupy by any other function it will be okay. And, and add one screen and uh, remember to to change its start time. It's, it's effect the same, same with this range limit. If too long, it will be too small to see. So when we finish it, we can click OK to save settings. So uh, I change the size here and for display the effect. Mm, small, small this, and large, larger this one. And because in this case, in this demo project, we already add one script in this in here, so it it can this value will be going up automatically. So I can compile it and run run it as offline. So we start to refresh this table. As we can see, going up. So uh, this is our only content I present today. About another specific settings and uh, project, please head to the. Uh, we call support center. Thanks for watching. See you next time.